see the constellations They remind me that this life cannot be lost Forever I watch my generation It's so evident this world will soon be gone Will soon be we're going to be using which is a back end of the service is called gloria food so let's go ahead and go into gloria gloria food I'm creating this from scratch so i've gone into incognito mode i know you guys probably used incognito for incognito so that we can set up this account from scratch meanwhile let's check up on our code editor and see how far how far we have on the extensions then let me just go ahead and change this to uh, my food website this is basically just the title that you will see on the navigation bar then for the actual content that is on the website um, I want you to just keep it simple let's just go ahead and create something called a center tag so just type in center and hit enter your code editor will handle the rest then within this, uh, just type in a H1, which is basically a header in HTML. Then I'm just going to say my food uh, website. And just for purposes of aesthetics, let me just put in an emoji here with some food. And you can do that by hitting the Windows uh, logo and the, the period or the dot. But in this case, if you are using some other wires, figure it out, man, figure it out. So let me just say, maybe noodles or something, noodles. Yeah, perfect. So yeah, let's just go ahead. And I'm, open, I'm using Live Server, which is also an extension for Visual Studio Code. So let me just click on Go Live, and it will serve this up on a, a, lo a local server for me. Meanwhile, meanwhile, let's go into Gloria Food. Click on that. So I think Gloria Food has been acquired by Oracle, but I'm not sure. But at the time of this recording, I think they're almost being acquired by, by Oracle. Bruh. So in order to get access, you just have to give them a restaurant name. So for this one, I'm going to say Tutorial Foods or something. No, that's, that's lame. Let's do mm. 
Uh, okay, let's do let's do Baga Baga KD or something. Uh, let me just click on get access now. Let's just go ahead and try using something else. Let me use. I think I have another email called Low Fight Actors. So that has worked. So it actually accepted that email. So what you now have to do is to set up your restaurant address. So just go ahead and put in your phone number. So 007. No need to start with the with the geo the two plus two five four. It will automatically be inserted. So don't worry about that. Make sure you also input your city. I'm just going to do Nairobi. And I'm just going to hit on next. Stay hydrated. So let the customers know your exact location. So let me just put this. Let me put it on Westland or something. And then just you can also zoom in. You can zoom in if you want to be more precise. I guess I didn't show you that. You have you can actually zoom in. So you can do a more precise location. So maybe I want to do Lavington Mall. So I can just go ahead and move this pin exactly to that mall. Just like that. And just click on next. So you'll be asked, do you have a, a, a real website domain name? I want you to click on yes. If you don't have a domain name available, you can go ahead and use the best domain providers here in Kenya and also the cheapest in Kenya, which is going to be Truehost. I have the link down below if you want to get a discount on your first order. So go ahead and use that link down in the description. So next, what you want to do is specify your restaurant cuisine. So because we called ourselves burgers, let's just put burger in our selection and I'm going to leave it at, at that. So I'm just going to click on next. We have to actually verify that this email exists. So we have to actually sign in. So let me just go ahead and sign into this. So let me go into my mail. Let's just click on validate email. All right, so it has validated our email address. So let's go ahead and continue with this verification process. So you need to actually now state the options that you want to pick on your site. So if you want people to be able to pick up from your physical restaurant, go ahead and check this as yes. But if you don't want to offer the service, just pick on no and click next. So for the food delivery, this is the main point of this particular tutorial. So of course we're going to uh, check on yes. And you can also decide if you want uh, table reservations, but we'll get to that in a moment. So for the delivery, you actually have to provide the zones to which you deliver. So maybe there's a certain area that your restaurant cannot have the logistics to be able to deliver to. So you probably want to pick um, a surrounding area that you can actually handle. So maybe maybe a one kilometer radius or something so let's just go ahead and add a zone so go ahead and click on this red circle and now you can extend it so as you can see this is like 1.78 kilometer radius so i think that's pretty all right so this is the first zone so maybe i can say maybe i can say this is the free delivery zone or something this just for me, but you can always decide if you want to actually charge people for this, you can always put a delivery fee. So maybe the delivery fee for this zone is 50 Kenya shillings. But for me, I've called it free. So this really defeats the purpose. So let me just keep that as zero and click on save. So that's my first zone. I can go ahead and add another zone. 
which is going to be the second area of the liver. So I can go ahead and maybe increase the size of this. So that's like two, that's like three kilometers of extra radius. So I'm going to call this, um, let me just call this Pedro. And I'm going to create maybe, you can set a minimum amount that someone has to order so that they can actually uh, qualify for delivery because seriously, someone can literally order it here, 50 bob na attacker delivery. So let's say you want the minimum is 200 shillings to qualify for delivery. And the delivery fee at this point maybe it's 80 shillings or something. And then just click on save. So pretty straightforward, pretty simple, and you have that set up. So just click on next after this. So what we're going into next is table reservation. This actually allows people uh, to book a table in advance. So let's just click on yes and click on next. If you're just interested in the delivery, just you may click to skip some seconds of this part. So do you also offer dining and ordering? So if you want users to be able to also scan a QR code and get the menu, this is the option. So of course I want this feature, so I'm just going to click on yes so that you can get the most value from this. Of course, the features you don't want to see, you can always choose to opt out of, so no pressure. Opening hours, so you have to add your hours. So for me, let me just remove Sunday because if this was me, I probably wouldn't work on Sunday due to uh, going to church and whatnot. So exceptions, you can add holidays as well if you want. Like if you have a, a certain day that you will not be opening, you can always add this from this part, but I'm not going to do that. Let me just click on next. And uh, scheduled orders, you can also do like, if someone wants to order, but they want to have this delivered later, you can also allow this. But I think, uh, let's just click on no, because really who orders and wants to get delivered later on? Doesn't make much sense. So taxation and currency. So this is very important. So let's say apply tax on top of my mini prices, or maybe the prices already include taxes. So whichever it is, but I'm guessing your menu prices already include taxes. And for the tax rates, it's going to be on food. So you can actually add more tax on the delivery. So if someone deliver, uh, chooses to opt in for a delivery, you can actually maybe say there's a 5% added tax. Um, zero for pickup, zero for restaurants. Fix this, these preset values. For the currency, of course, this is Kenyan shilling. And, but you, cannot, you can go ahead and change this if maybe you're watching this tutorial from a different um, country. So just hit on next. And for the payment method, it's, it's going to automatically detect uh, your location and offer you the available payment the, uh, options in that particular uh, geographical location. So, of course, you have cash, you have pickup. So, for card, we can also do like for delivery, we can also accept card. For dining, we can also accept. And I want you to click on more payment options. So, we also have M-Pesa. So just click on available everywhere. And in here, I just want you to just put in your particular till number for your business. So maybe 2256 or something. So this is just a dummy till. So that customers will be able to get such a message before making the payment. So... Okay, so that's it. Just click on next. And next you'll have to actually comply with official details and policy. I know this is a very long tutorial, but <laughs> bear with me, bear with me. So the company name, just put in anything. It will basically just accept this. So Burgers, Burgers KE, company registration address, let's just say Kiricho, no. We specified Nairobi. <laughs> Nairobi. So the country, of course, is Kenya. Kuwait. Kiribati. <laughs> Kiribati. <laughs> anyway, so 
so the phone number okay so yeah that's it and click on next so general terms and conditions if you have a lawyer <laughs> or something they can draft this for you but for now just click on create from template so this is just a template then just hit on create and it will automatically just change this to your particular details so that you don't get into any legal trouble from your website or any orders or what not so it's this is very useful and it really helps you out because trust me you're going to get into some trouble when you're selling anything online So once you're done with legal, um, this is the app installation part of this. So this part I'm not going to do because I already have this installed. But you can now pick your device, tablet or smartphone and then just click on next. So you can use either email or your phone number. If you enter your phone number, they will send you the link to download this particular APK. So I'm just going to click on next. Hopefully I can skip this step. Hopefully I can. So I can't. Jesus. Okay. So it will send you a link and it will auto automatically wait for you to download this so that it can actually sync this up. Notification. So let me just click on next. Next, waiting for you to install and connect the app. So, ish, 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 ish. So let me just go ahead and skip that. Let me go ahead and skip that. I don't need the app, but you guys already know what you have to do. Once you install the application on your device and use those particular credentials to log in, it will automatically detect that you have done so and you will be able to proceed. But for me, I'm skipping it. I'm skipping it because I already have this. Come on now. Come on now. Don't even play with me like that. So first of all, um, you have to change this particular uh, theme picture. So go ahead and click on that. So you'll have several options. We decided this is Burger King. So I think this is already, is already okay. It's already okay. So I think this one, this one is just fine. This one is okay. But if you are not happy with this, you can click on change theme picture and you will have, you will have a slideshow that shows you like the preferred particular images that you, this site already has for you. But if you have your own, you can go ahead and click on, I have my own better picture. But just for this tutorial, let me just go ahead and accept this one. So I can select that. And for the order accepted page, it will actually be the same particular uh, photo, but you can also go ahead and change this. But to make this a bit shorter, let's just go ahead and finish that. The drop down. So you have different versions of this and you already have some preloaded dummy data. But if you wanted to change this, all you have to do is go ahead and click on this edit button, just like that. And this will actually give you the, the option to change like the name. So I can just say, uh, pepperoni, pepperoni. I don't know the spelling, so whatever. And you can change the ingredients. You can change the price. So of course, it's, it can be seven shillings. So okay. let me just put in maybe seven hundred shillings for the small one. And the large pizza. Let me the large pizza. Let me do fifteen hundred or something. And click on save. So as simple as that and if you also want to change maybe the image of this just click on this click on this particular icon and it will give you a drop down where you'll be able to upload images directly from your website so i'm trying to make this tutorial as short as possible so i will not dwell on this i will not dwell on this this is pretty self-explanatory for the choices and add-ons for example if i'm ordering a pizza maybe i want some toppings to be added maybe i want some mushrooms uh, maybe I want 
uh, some tomatoes or what's not to be added to that pizza so i can go ahead and give maybe add a choice of crust so maybe i'll say these toppings yes so <laughs> and then just include the price as well i'm not saying added any price so that suggests that these toppings are free but you can now go ahead and add whichever toppings in this particular section and you can go ahead and preview the menu so i can now preview this particular menu right here and check out how it actually looks that is what the actual client will see on their end so that is still processing in the meantime let me open up a new tab and visit my local host 5500 which is uh, the server that is actually running the website we created so as you can see we have a blank page that just says my food ordering my food website so let's go back into the admin so as you can see burger ke is loading up it's a burger website that currently has pizzas allow it allow it so as you can see you have these products right here you also have drinks so that maybe if someone wanted to add this on top they can just add this so basically this is your menu so it's your thing do your thing go ahead and edit as much as you like but for purposes of simplicity of this tutorial let me just go ahead and show you how you can now export this to your particular website so once you're done with this just click on next and you can always come back to this menu at any particular time so don't think that this is binding that once you have done this it's over you can always come back and change this later on so for publishing you have several options you can actually embed this okay i don't need this tip you can actually embed this to your facebook uh, page if that is what you would like to do and if you would like to do that just click on next it will actually need to integrate with facebook but once you do this users can be able to order directly from your page but that is not really what i'm interested in let me show you this particular legacy website so if you are you actually need to click on legacy website so just click on would you like to take orders and reservations from an existing site just click on yes so apparently we can't do anything if we have not installed the order checking app so big whoop we have to go back and do that okay so what i'm going to do let me just go ahead and i'll stop recording this because it's recording on my phone so i'll have to uninstall the previous app and just go ahead and do a fresh installation so let's just go ahead and do that so let me just go ahead went ahead and instead of uninstalling the app i just logged out so let's go ahead and and do this one more time so smartphone next uh, for the phone number, uh, I don't need this. Let's just do a handle. Let's do a madness. So let me just go ahead and start the screen recording. Just go into the app. Login. So I'm using this particular detail. So lo-fi of a cactus at gmail.com and the password specified during signing what did we what did we put <laughs> uh, yeah so we're good to go so we have successfully connected the app so yeah that's it that's it so let's go ahead and check this out so let's go into publishing and go into legacy website so to publish this um you need to create the html code so let's just go ahead and click on html code and what it will do is to, it will actually generate the code that will actually fetch the data from this admin uh, to our particular website Okay, so here's the HTML that we actually need. 
let's just go ahead of course there's several inter ways to integrate this you can integrate this to wordpress wix uh squarespace joomla drupal all basically all the major content management systems but let's just go ahead and copy this go back into your code and then also want to create some some space let me just do some break tags and let me just do four of them so i also want to create another center tag so let me just go ahead and do a center tag and then in here let me just paste the code just like that that's literally all you need now if we head back to our our local host as you can see you now have these two buttons which if i go ahead and click on see menu and order so as you can see there is the menu right there so let's go ahead and try to make make an order so let me go for the the pizza pepperoni that we created i want the large one and for the toppings i need extra mozzarella i need it to be crispy and for the special instructions let me just say no no mushrooms fan no mushrooms and let me just click on add to cart and let me go ahead and check out I, uh, hopefully this will be out of field so let's just do that hit on save ordering method um, delivery so we have to add our address so for the street name let me just say uh, Westlands Town. Let me just put Nairobi and hit on continue. So, of course, I have to specify where I live. So basically, let me just say I stay at this particular hospital, some Peter. Let me just click here. So that's it. Uh, available time choice. Let me just save this. So you seem to be outside of the delivered area. Uh, what do you want to do? So you can go ahead and switch to maybe pick up or just hit on continue. So just hit on continue. So a delivery fee has been added. So okay. So for the payment method, let's do M-Pesa. And click on save. And we're pretty much done. So just go ahead and place delivery now. Place the order now. And just like clockwork we have the order okay i can go ahead and accept this delivery time is going to be one hour because it's outside the delivery zone and of course just like before he'll be able to you'll be able to get this real time so yeah just like that you have this set up in your particular system so i know this isn't exactly uh, the same outlook as the one from the tutorial you can go ahead and just create your own html on top of this or you can go ahead and even use maybe a template for this particular uh, uh, project so if i want to maybe edit the buttons all i have to do is get rid of this class so if i get rid of that class automatically this button will lose all its uh, styling that is predefined uh, by the service so as you can see i can now go ahead and write my own css if i wanted to by defining my own class but basically that is basically how you can set this up it is very simple and it is very efficient so hope you found value from this tutorial and if you did be sure to let me know any comments criticism down below in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video.